2024 U.S. presidential elections, one of the most uh, consensual in American history, enters its final full day with former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris making last-minute pushes to mobilize voters. Both camps are farming the election as a pivotal moment for the nation's future with polls opening on Tuesday, November 5, 2024, a race that has already captivated global attention. Our reporter, Kariju Dijalo, tells us more of that in this report. The 2024 U.S. presidential election, marking the 68th quadrennial race, is entering its final 48 hours with over 77.6 million votes already cast. New polls show Democratic candidate Kamala Harris leading among early votes in key battleground states, holding an 8% edge over her opponent, former President Donald Trump. However, Trump leads among those who say they are very likely to vote but have not yet done so, setting the stage for an intense showdown in the final hours. As election day approaches, both campaigns are ramping up, marking a pivotal moment for the future of U.S. politics. Incumbent President Joe Biden initially saw to election as the Democratic nominee facing little opposition. However, concerns over his age and health, particularly following a debate in June 2024, leading to increasing calls within his party for him to step down on July 21st. Biden withdrew from the race, marking him the first sitting president to do so since Lyndon B. Jensen in 1968. He endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris, who became the Democratic nominee on August 5th, selecting Minnesota Governor Tim Wales as her running mate. In 2020, Kamala Harris made history as the first black and South Asian woman nominated for Vice President by a major party, later becoming the first woman of color to hold the office. Now as the Democratic presidential nominee, she stands poised to make history again as the potential first female president of the United States. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump is making a rare bid to return to the White House, seeking to reclaim the presidency he lost to Joe Biden in 2020. However, his part is marked by unique legal and political challenges as he is the first U.S. president, past or present, to face criminal charges. Despite these controversies, Trump remains a powerful force within the Republican Party, relying supporters with his promise to make America great again. In a closing pitch to Mexican's sizable Arab American community, Vice President Kamala Harris spoke to a crowd of over 200,000, acknowledging the devastating toll of the ongoing Israeli Gaza conflict and the related impact in Lebanon. Harris expressed deep concern for civilian casualties, emphasizing the immense loss and suffering endured by civilians on both sides of the conflict. The comments come amid rising criticism from Arab and Muslim American communities, as well as anti-war activist groups over U.S. support for Israeli in the conflict that has led to tens of thousands of civilian deaths in Gaza and Lebanon and displaced millions. Many in attendance expressed appreciation for Harris' acknowledgement of the suffering in the region and her pledge to pursue peace hoping it signals a shift in U.S. policy. For African News, Khadija Tujalo.